So I thought I'd just do a little video while I'm working on uh, this PCB Creator uh, design for the uh, compass slash accelerometer um, chip, the LSM303 DLHC. Um, so this is what I've got so far. I'm actually, um, this is what's going to be added on to uh, the watch schematic up here. And so this is what I'm working on so I can do put the chip directly onto the board. And then above here, I have another chip. This is an RTC module. Um, I can't exactly remember the chip right now. But this is just an RTC chip. Um, I found the schematic for it, just putting it together. And this will also go on the um, watch uh, design. So what I'm working on right now is this LSM 303. Um, so I'm, I've got a, two, a schematic and a board design, an Eagle board design. I've just got open in Microsoft Paint because I don't have anything better to look at images. Um, this doesn't help all too much, it just helps a little bit with design. And then th this is the schematic, um, which is the main thing I'm using. So right now I just added these two capacitors, or two, two 10K resistors that go to 3 volts. And so I started up here, so I'm going to go down here, and I've done these two. This has nothing, this has nothing. And so what I'm going to do is go to this one. This is a, res I also have the, um, the data sheet open, and you can see um, the pin, uh, that's pin 6 which is a reserved capacitor connection. So I can go down and into here. Um, let's look real quick at this again. So what we have here that the reserved capacitor connection is a line going to the capacitor, 10 UF capacitor, up connecting to the ground line, and then going out to the ground connection. All right, so we need to go in and find the capacitors. If we look up here, there's some options uh, to find the capacitors, capacitor SMD. And then I'm using an 0805 size. So what I can do is just place this down. Then in order to accommodate for the size, you go ahead and press on the button right there for the mouse, and then I'm going to right click here and choose rotate, and I'm just going to do 90 degrees, and then right click again, properties, go to placement, well marking, and then justify to the right, and then now that's moved over a little bit. And now I can move this over here. And so I actually lost my train of thought, so I need to look at this one more time. All right, so we're going from capacitor to ground. So um, reserved capacitor area, and these are using nothing. Okay. So now what we do is go up and press on the um, route manual and go from the capacitor. Uh, reserve capacitor area to the actual capacitor can make the route a little bit nicer and then it goes to ground and this is the ground so it's better to double check than get it wrong um, alright so this goes to ground which is right here and eventually this is going to go off to the ground pin, which actually I'm going to cancel that because I think this is a ground pin. Um, if we go over here and look real quick, back up here, yeah, so this is going to ground. So what we can do is connect the two. So we can get this one and we can just put it all the way over here for now and then you can merge the nets and then we've got those connected. Now we go ahead and go back to the schematic and see what's next. Alright, so we just did this one up to the ground, 
and then that going up to the ground. Um, I don't think anything goes here. This goes to dry, so that's might need to do something. Need to look on the outside stuff. Um, but let's do these first. So here we got on pin one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pin ten, we're going to ground, and pin eleven, we're going to ground. And we can double check ten. Reserved connect to ground 11 reserved connect to ground And so that's pretty simple so we've got One two three Third down so one two three this goes to ground over here and Four goes to ground so we can just go up here Okay, so those two were reserved to go to the ground. Three and four. And now let's look at this pin. Um, I see it's hard to read here, so that's why. This was an eagle um, file uh, that came from the Adafruit GitHub um, for their chip, the one that looks like this. And um, they're open source, so I can use it and, and put it onto my... Um, onto my project, uh, the watch project. And so we've gotten these. Let's look at this one now. I'm gonna double check what those are. That's a six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So twelve and thirteen pins. Uh, S E T P and S E T C so it's SR capacitor connection, SR capacitor connection, C2. Alright. So these connect for both on both sides of the capacitor. And this is a 0.22 UF capacitor. So what I'm gonna do is go back into here and get a, another capacitor. Now this I'll just set down right here for now while I make room. So what I can do is move some of this up and then hopefully be able to place this in somewhere. Um, so let's move these over. Okay, so sometimes you have to delete and kind of redo the connections. Okay. And we should have enough room, almost. So sometimes it's kind of hard to get everything in place. I need to use the least amount of room as possible. And so that's what's what makes it hard. So I'm going to just move this a little bit. And now we almost have enough room. So this should be should be enough room. Um, I may need to move it a little bit around later, but for now, I can connect this part up and this part up. And that is how it is in the schematic. Now, so we've got these, we've got all the outside pieces, so I'm going to just zoom out. Oh, by the way, this was actually, I used an app and an Eagle file viewer app on Android to get this photo from the file. And I rotated it, and that's why there's a, these pictures. So it's a paid app, but um, it, it was worth it. So right here we have a ground to 10 UF. Let me just look at what else there is. So over here we have just the ground pin. Um, over here, okay, so here we have some stuff. Um, this is just the outputs. Um, for example, this is SL, SCL2, SCL, well, SDA1 and SDA2. That's because their actual module has two outputs. There's an SDA here and an SDA here. So one of them is SDA1 and S one's SDA2. Same with SCL. 
Um, so let me go back. So we really don't need to worry about that because that's going to connect directly into the watch program. Um, so really the only other thing we have to worry about is it looks like for now it's just this one uh, from ground to three volts okay so capacitor a 10 uf capacitor from ground to three volts um, where's the three volt line by the way uh, okay so So ground on this actual part. So it would be like over here. I could use this one. Go to 3 volts. Let's see what I can do. Ground to 3 volts. So it's a capacitor, right? Yes. 10 UF capacitor. Ground to 3 volts. So just making sure. Okay, so we can put one down, I guess, up here, maybe down here. Um, let's, let's do it up here, and actually, what I can do is rotate this 40 degrees, 45 degrees, I mean, um, rotation, um, rot one second. Okay, so that should be good. And so from ground to 3 volts. So the ground connection is on this side, which is connected to the capacitor, which goes to that one. So on the other side of that capacitor, we can connect that capacitor up. Um, so... Let's go over here. So this is ground. And we can just simply connect this up to here. And this side goes to 3 volts, which I already have a an area for the 3 volts um, which is right here. Um so how would I get over there? So this is ground. We've got... Okay, so we need to get all the way up to here. So we can just do, at least for now, I'm just going to do a line that goes all the way across to the 3 volt area. And here you can see this is it, this should be finished. I'm going to need to double check it a few times. Um, you always want to do that. This ac actual design right here I've actually put together and grouped um, for the actual L7303 chip because there wasn't a pre-built one in here. Um, so however, how I did that is, well there's a nice tool in PCB Creator called the Ruler Tool, Measure Tool. And you can measure between the two and it shows the length at the bottom. And what you can do is just compare that with the schematic and other things. Um, here's with the schematic it has some of these uh, measurements up here. And then also it helps to have a digital caliper. This is extremely helpful with electronics, especially when you're doing um, PCB board um, things. So this is the actual LSM303 chip. It's a tiny chip, but even with it so small, the digital caliber can definitely help for quite a bit of things. Um, you can actually get some of these sizes of the tiny leads and the actual chip size so for example right here I'm holding the chip and it's um, five millimeters um, it's not exactly even so okay there five um, so I mean the digital caliber definitely helps a lot when you're doing 
this type of thing. But this schematic for the this design for the LSM 303 should be complete. Um, you need to make sure you connect everything to the right places when I'm connecting it up to the watch. Um, but I just thought maybe someone would be interested in this um, watching. Um, I appreciate you watching and um, if you like this type of thing, please subscribe. Have a great day.